in this video I want to show you how to make a really nice calculator application. I use an example for this uh, because I don't consider myself as a designer. Um, so there is an example, for example, if I, if I look at the native calculator application that comes with Mac OS, this is this one. Yeah? If, you, if you're coming from Windows, of course, you might not be familiar with this one. Um, it looks slightly similar, I think, in the iOS version. Anyway, I think this is a really nice calculator. It's, it's not just functional. I mean, it works. It, it does all the calculations that we want. But it also looks very, very nice, I think. Um, it is still simple, yeah. But, I don't know, it has a very, very nice design. And I would like to use this example um, yeah, how to build this, I would like to show you how to build exactly such a calculator in JavaFX. I would like to divide this video in general in two parts. So the first part will be where I show you how to create this interface, how to create all these buttons and yeah, how to make, how to make it as neat and beautiful as this one. And in the second part, I would like to add the application logic. So um, create all the controller classes and then uh, yeah, make these buttons work and actually make these calculations work. Okay, now let's get started. I start how I usually start. I go to file and create a new JavaFX project. You should be familiar with this by now. Just for simplicity I will call it calculator. Leave everything else like it is. And here we have our application structure, we can open the main class and I will quickly restructure it like I always used to do it. Okay, now the basic structure in the main class is ready here as you can see and uh, the only thing missing is now the main window controller that are already connected and yeah, like usually we have to create a new class and call it main window controller. Okay, inside here we say main, main, private main, main, and then public void set main, 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 this main equals main. All right, from now on, let's focus on the fxml file that doesn't exist so far, so I will create it. New other and then new fxml document and I will call it main window view. It gets automatically started here with scene builder, as you can see. And yeah, um, in this first part, um, this application structure doesn't concern us anymore. Only in the second part, when we create the application logic, we will come back to this. And uh, yeah, for now, let's only focus on the user interface. So I will constantly try to switch back and forth between our application that we are developing and the, the example application, which is in this case is this uh, macOS the calculator. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is create actually the the window, the basic window uh, of the exact si size or around about the same size as this uh, example application. So I will select the anchor pane and then go into the layout section and then say for the width, for example, 200 pixel and for the height, uh, let's say 400. Okay, we can already see this is a bit wanky. Um, and yeah, via the preview, we can actually easily see that the that it's a bit too big. Yeah, so let's rather go back to the 200 maybe. So we can close it and then here maybe 350. This is still a bit too long. Let's have a look again. And ah, it's a bit too small, so um, we try to get maybe 240, this looks better. Yeah, the width is almost perfect and the height is perfect. So I would say I take maybe 
instead of 240 I use 235 and now let's show the preview again and yeah this is perfect almost perfect let's leave it like this this is good enough for now okay now let's analyze a little bit for a moment the example application what do we have here in the very top we have basically yeah let's say a label or text field or something the like which shows the actual content of the calculations uh, okay and then we have a bunch of uh, buttons that are almost all the exact same size the calculations as you can see here are a little bit wider i think at least uh, than the other buttons here in the middle well maybe the exact almost the same so let's see how we do it and then we have one button that is uh, a little bit bigger which is the zero so for the buttons to organize the buttons and to display them here in our application we have uh, in my opinion um, two options we either make lots of H boxes yeah the horizontal boxes as you remember this uh, which lets us um, organize a number of elements uh, vertically or horizontally to each other um, so then we had like one box here one box here one box here one box here um, but I think it is easier because it already looks like a grid to me to just use a grid paint for this lower part here so what I want to do now is to put a label for now or just a text area or something like this and then I create a yeah a grid a grid view okay so maybe let's for now put a label in on the anchor pane and then a grid pane I will just drag them both on this pane for now and uh, yeah I select the label and say the constraints should all be zero to all the sides except the bottom okay and uh, then the height should um yeah should be what height is it now it is 16 so if i if i make it 50 yeah that looks okay i i maybe go for 60 for now and uh, then i select the grid pane in the next and i will also first organize the constraints um, Okay, and on the bottom also zero. Now, then I want to make sure it already contains enough um, buttons here or enough rows for the first. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Five rows. That means I select the grid pane and say add row below, add row below. Then we have five. And it has in total four columns. So I say add row, uh, column after it doesn't matter in which um, order so for now but now at least we have sufficient number of buttons or better number of cells okay so now let's fill the grid view with buttons uh, because we need a lot of buttons to actually have a calculator working and yeah so we're what I want to do now is add in every cell one button. Okay, done. This is really a huge number of buttons. Uh, and as you can see here, I left uh, one field empty because if you look at the uh, example application, here is just one big one. Yeah. Um, so what we can do to actually uh, get the same result, we select the button that is supposed to be the zero and then we say modify grid pane and increase column span and then the button is in the middle uh, i think we can yeah the size uh, issue we can we can change later on but what i want to do now is um, add all the right symbols or number in uh, all of the buttons so i start with the zero and then here with the one and so on in this button I will enter a comma here a equals to then a plus here a minus for the time symbol I will just add an X for now and uh, here for the divided by uh, s slash because I will not I, will, I don't have the 
exact slash sign available now. We can uh, either copy it later on or have a look where exactly we can find it on our keyboard. Okay, and for the last two buttons here, I will add uh, here the percentage sign. Where is it here? And here the plus divided by minus. This is also not too important. We can all always change this later on. Okay, now we still have a little bit of a size issue here. The grid pane is far smaller than actually uh, it's supposed to be. So let's select all the rows and select the uh, profit height to 40. This looks better. And I think, yeah, let's have a look at the preview again. And it can still be bigger. Go with 45. Can still be bigger. Um, I think if we go for 47 or something, it should be okay. Yeah, looks good. Looks good. Let's leave it like this. And we can select now all the buttons because what I want to do next is change the size. Uh, we will select all buttons except the zero and change the width to, let's say, 40 or 50, 60, 60 looks quite good. And uh, the height, we can actually include the zero now. The height, um, now it's 26. Let's give it a 40. Um, why are those not selected? We can try, okay, select all like this and 40 for all of them. Maybe 50. 50. It's okay, I think. And yeah, so the size of one of the small ones is 60. Let's give the zero 120 width. Okay, uh, in the preview, it looks like the buttons take up most of the space and we still have a little gap between all of them. This looks almost nice, it getting, it's getting shape, right? Okay, with the buttons almost finished, let's uh, focus for now on the label because this looks uh, pretty much too simple so far. Um, so the most important thing, of course, is the alignment. Uh, that should be center, center right. Uh, where is it? Center right. Here we go. And just to, yeah, just as a, um, just to make it a little bit realistic, I put a zero in it. Okay. So I think one thing is important here, the padding or the margin to the right. Um, let's put this aside, select it again and say in the layout, actually, yeah, we only have the padding here. Let's give it a 10 padding. That's okay. That's really okay. And uh, change just for demo purposes, the font size to 20, I think it should be even bigger, 25. How about 30? Yeah, 30, 30 looks good. Let's have a look again. Yeah, could still be bigger, but I think the rest will be done via the CSS styling. I think we have the main structure of the program done and yeah, Let's finish this video and in the next section we take care of the visual appearance of the application.